Hello everybody, it's ShudD, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Ruby Version. In the last episode, we came up through uh, Route 104 here into Rustboro City, where we tried to explore. And by tried to explore, I mean got lost because I couldn't remember where stuff was. Uh, wonderful times. So anyways, in this episode, we shall be tackling the Rustboro City Gym, whose leader is apparently Roxanne, who uses a rock type. But we did not do. We've not. We're not going to charge in there just head first. No, no. We did some preparing in between episodes, and during the preparing, uh, let's put this way: pickup was a godsend. Wanna know why? First off, Ultra Balls. We got like five of them now, and then full restore, super potion, full heals, revives all the stuff I shouldn't necessarily have at this stage of the game. Yeah, I'm going to be well prepared for this. <laughs> Again, pick up is the god in this game. As for the Pokemon themselves, who did the grinding? Let's check them out. Ava, our Ralts, who is at level 13, as is everybody else. And during training, she learned Double Team, which is a move that allows you to raise your evasion, and in competitive, is kind of pretty much frowned upon. <laughs> uh, Leaf, our Seanox, again level 13, learned the move Nature Power, uh, which is a move that that has various effects depending on your terrain, like whether you're in the desert, or on water, or just in town. Uh, I'll go over that hopefully at a later point, but right now it's just too lengthy. Got other stuff to do with this episode. Then we have Rina, or Puchiena, who learns Sand Attack and Bite. Bite is an interesting move in that she, ha she gets uh, the same type of attack bonus from it, but in this generation, all dark type moves, regardless of what they sound like, such as Bite, which you'd think would be physical, all dark it's a special based move, like all dark type moves in this generation. Which for Rina doesn't really work too well, because she's more of a physical attacker than a special attacker. <sighs> but still, we can hopefully get some use out of it. Then we have Kentucky, our starter, who just did training, but didn't really learn any new moves. However, Ember is still Awesome, because it's Ember, it's fire type. And we have Ziggy, our Zigzagoon, aka the master of pickup, the master of overpoweredness, <laughs> who learns Sand Attack in place of Growl and Headbutt. Now, Headbutt is a 70 power um, normal base, or sorry, a 70 base power move of normal typing that causes flinching, well, may cause flinching, there's a small, small chance of it. Very powerful, very awesome. But sadly, not going to be much use to us. Then we have, how could I forget, the only male on our team, Serge the Talo, who has learned Wing Attack and Quick Attack. Wing Attack is a flying type move, it has 60 power, no additional effects. Basically, it's an upgrade from Peck, and trust me, I'll take it. <laughs> Quick Attack is a extremely fast attack, always that almost always strikes first. It has a higher priority base than regular moves like Scratch, Wing Attack, Tap, Growl. There are other moves that outspeed it, and let's say two Pokémon were to use Quick Attack at the same time, the faster one would still go first. But yeah, basically priority move, it offers, you know, decent bang for your buck. But again, we kinda won't be using Surge here, because Rock types, they wreck flying types, and to an extent fire types as well. So Kentucky and Surge, you two are not gonna be uh, not gonna be having much fun in this battle, or in this gym rather. Uh, Ziggy's not gonna be quite as useful because of you know rock types. They resist. Uh, sorry, rock types resist normal attacks. So Ziggy's gonna be pretty much out of the question. As is Rena for the most part. We could go with Bite, which also has a chance to flinch, but again, it's working off of a or a special attack, so probably not going to use Rena that much. Instead, we'll be relying on Ava, who has Confusion, which is a psychic, psychic type move, which is special based. So gets through the poor special defenses that rock types generally have. And Leaf is a uh, grass type, which has super effective power against uh, rock types. Now, that's not the only arsenal one can have against uh, rock types. Uh, they are weak to both grass and water, so if you picked either of the other two starters, such as uh, Mudkip and Trico, you're already set for this battle. And again, even if you're like me, who picked Torchic because you're awesome, 
you're still set to first battle because the game will have thrown at you quite a number of different water and grass type users. They even throw you bullet seeds, so you're kind of going to be guaranteed to be prepared for this type. Anyways, enough of me rambling. Let's get on with the battling with you, Mr. Mr. I want to call you Josh, am I right? Yes? Yes, you're a youngster, Josh. If you're Geo Dude. Well, say hi to Ava. <laughs> so, as I said, very poor special defense for rock types, so confusion, even without a. even without like a uh, super effective uh, modifier, it still does good damage. Of course, Ava's defenses aren't necessarily that yeah, great, so that tackle isn't exactly welcome. So, that, and I am going to switch over to Leaf. Because, I don't know. I, just because Grass type, super powerful, and all that yada yada. So, onward with the Bullet Seed! Which should hit. Okay, it'll take both hits to take him out. Super effective. Even even a weak move like Bullet Seed, or relatively weak move anyways, can pretty much one-shot these things. Well, technically two-shot, but technicalities. <laughs> Alright, so... Yeesh. Pokemon are, this Pokemon are just getting weaker. First he starts off with level 10, then level 8, level 6. Is this what I'm supposed to expect? That the gym trainers will get weaker? I don't know. <laughs> but this guy has poor strategy. You are too good for me. Well, clearly, when you kind of lead with your ace, and your ace falls easily to, like, two attacks. Yeah. Anyways, we're going to switch Leaf into the front of the party, and confront you. If you can't beat me, you won't stand a chance against Roxanne. Well, I should hope we'll beat you then. Unless you have, like, some sort of godly Pokemon in your arsenal, youngster Tommy. Okay, level 11 Geodude. Where have I seen this before? <laughs> Alright, so, let's go with a Bullet Seed once more. One, maybe two will do it. No, okay, it'll take ooh, three. Thank god we got the third. So yeah, effectively one-shotted. Yeah, Leaf is pretty much gonna own this gym. And, there we go, level up to level 14. Alright, Youngster Tommy is defeated. Wow, you've got some potential! Why, thank you, sir, thank you. Now then... Hmm? Wait, what? Leaf is evolving. Well... This is, uh, quite interesting. Oh. Well, what you just witnessed, folks, is Pokemon Evolution. N uh, Leaf has evolved into a Nuzleaf. Uh, Pokemon Evolution, real quick, is when Pokemon change form and become strong. Uh, generally, become stronger. Uh, most Pokemon do this through level up. Uh, others can do it through stones and other other forms that we'll kind of discuss later. Uh, Leaf has now evolved into Nuzleaf, which is a little bit more offensive than c Dot, and a little bit more speedier too, at the sake of lesser defenses. So, in any case, I think we're going to be pretty good for this. Anyways, let's stop wasting time, and... Roxanne. We meet. Hello, I'm Roxanne, Rustboro Gym Leader. I became a Gym Leader so that I may apply what I learned at the Pokémon Trainer School in battle. Would you kindly demonstrate how you battle, and with which Pokémon? Sure, why not? Alright, folks. Welcome to our battle with Leader Roxanne. She's gonna start out with a Geodude, level 14, with the ability Sturdy, has the moves Tackle, Defense Curl, Rock Throw, and Rock Tomb. Altogether, not gonna be that much of a difficulty because of, well... Well, let's see. However, if for some reason you're going in without a grass type or a wire type, say you're doing a Nuzlocke challenge, 
Rock Throw is basically Rock Move, Rock Tomb, also Rock Move, which lowers your speed. And Geodude's down before I can even finish talking about it. Lovely. Now Rockstar's gonna use Nose Pass. I'm not gonna switch, because we don't really have any reason to. Here it is, Nose Pass, her ace, level 15, the ability Sturdy, pure Rock type, has the moves t uh, Tackle, Harden, Rock Throw, and Rock Tomb yet again. And just like uh, before, we're pretty much going to one-shot this thing. The nice thing about uh, Bullet Seed is because it technically hits more than once, even though you're using one round, it bypasses the ability of Sturdy. So, in theory... Okay, in theory, I'm going to suck anyways and not get the, uh, the theoretical one-shot. But, yeah, you, okay, so you've hardened and done essentially nothing. However, gym leaders are tactful. They will use potions and what every now and then to uh, prolong the battle, so to speak. It's a bit of a dick move, but then again, we do it too, so can't really blame them. Luckily, they only have a, about one or two potions, depending, so you don't have to worry about too, too much. And this bullet seed is going to get the whole full five hits and nose passes down. Dear God, that was easy, guys. That was so easy. <laughs> well then, there we go. Leaf grows to level 15. Nice boost there. And also, and there we go. <sighs> so I lost. It seems I still have much more to learn. I understand. Pokemon League's rules state that trainers are to be given this if they defeat a gym leader. Please accept the official Pokemon League Stone Badge. Well then, thank you very much. Well then, we have ourselves a Stone Badge. What is a Stone Badge? Well, aside from a shiny little thing, heightens the attack power of your Pokemon, uh, does this just by a small amount, it also enables the move Cut outside of battle, which is actually going to be pretty handy. Also, she will give us TM39, which, according to her, contains Rock Tomb. It inflicts damage by dropping rocks and also lowers the speed of your target. And again, she'll kind of go over how TMs can only be used once. As for Rock Tomb, I'm actually not sure if I want to use it here. Let me see if anyone can learn it. Uh, okay, both Leaf and Kentucky. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna hold off for now because I don't have a major need of rock moves at this time. So, with that done, I'm going to run around and- oh, oh my. Get! Get out! Out of the way! Wait, what, what? Wait, what, what, what the- Wait, please! Don't take my goods! Um, okay, that was weird. Well then, I know what we're doing next episode, guys. Next episode on Pokemon Ruby, let er, on Let's Play Pokemon Ruby version, getting the title mixed up, lovely. We are going to go after that guy and see what the heck that was all about. But first, I'm gonna go heal, and I don't know, you guys are gonna have fun, and yeah. So, until next time, guys, have a great one, and bye!